welcome back to my channel if you're new here hey how you doing my name is ash it is officially mid-february and i went mia again so it's actually been a while since i have sat down and filmed and did my makeup which i do explain a little bit as i do my makeup yeah i do apologize for my absence but i'm hoping that going forward i can put out two videos a week that's what i'm shooting for over on here but Today's video is a get ready with me where I talk about where I've been and also try out the Ipsy BoxyCharm Icon Box products that I received this month. Real quick, I'm going to throw up what I got in the Ipsy Box versus the BoxyCharm and the Icon Box. It's going to be showing as I'm talking. I'm very impressed with the selection of products that they did not only in the Ipsy bag, but the BoxyCharm Box and the Icon Box. Everything, it just looks amazing. I got three palettes this time around. Love that. I love eyeshadow palettes and I got some products that I've been wanting to try so this is great. Like I said in the past, Ipsy and BoxyCharm, they do send these boxes to me for free. I'm very thankful for that but I'm not paid to make these videos. I, it's just one of the requirements to get these sent to me. I have to make content with said products which it's whatever. It's free makeup basically. I love that. But um, if you're interested in signing up or learning more about Ipsy and BoxyCharm, I will have that link down below. But I'm not going to drag this intro out too long, so let's just hop into me doing my makeup and uh, talking about just where my head has been because it's been bad. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to get started with my base. Now, for Ipsy and BoxyCharm this month, there wasn't a lot of like base makeup so I'm just gonna you know I'm gonna use these brushes and I'm gonna like do some other things to my face so I'm gonna first moisturize with my bio essence moisturizer I am almost done with this stuff I do like it I don't think this works very well with the foundation I chose today but I'm gonna work with it and I need to pin my hair up I thought I could do it with my hair down but I cannot so I'm gonna rub this in and then give it a chance to sink in while I work on my brows because that's how I like to do things for my brows, I'm going to use the Oma by Sharon C One and Done 2 in 1 Brow Styler. I finished my LEJ one, so I'm moving on to the next brow product I need to use up. I did get the Anastasia Brow Freeze, but I'm not using that today because I plan on doing sort of simple makeup because I have some errands to run and I plan on doing a workout once I'm done with my errands and I don't want like a bunch of makeup on my face. So I'm just going to very lightly fill in my brows. I do just do a very light fill and then once my base makeup is on I go back in and touch up my brows. And I'm gonna go in with a hydrating primer. This is the Smashbox Primerizer. I love this stuff. Smashbox did send me another package and I might pull that out to use something today. So let me grab that. I actually have like a bunch of stuff off to the side here of just makeup that I got that I haven't used yet. So I guess I should talk about like where I've been, but let me let me grab that first. Look at this. Smashbox sent this to me. They sent me a few packages over the last year or so, and I am forever grateful. But it comes with these four face palettes. I thought it'd be kind of fitting to try one of these today. So there's Back to Cali, Coral, Saturation, Pink Saturation, and Berry Saturation. It has a highlighter. An enhancing blush, a sculpting blush, and a contour powder. That is what that one looks like. And it comes with a little, little chart on how to actually use this. So there's that one. Here's the pink one. Which I might use this one today. Maybe. Berry. Some of these I don't think are going to work for me. So they might be thrown into a future giveaway. And the coral. Yeah, I think I'm going to use the Back to Cali one. I like the colors in there more. Anyways, I thought that was cool that they sent that to me. So for foundation today, I'm using the new About Face The Performer. I've used this a couple times already. I did a first impressions on my TikTok, which I haven't posted yet. But um, I have found that this is light to medium coverage it's buildable and i find that since i have dry i'm on the drier side my skin isn't as dry as it used to be um it's a little not heavy on my skin it's very skin like but i do need to add an extra hydrating primer under this just to make it work better for me but i have it in the shade f0 cool which is the lightest shade and it looks very pale but it does match the rest of my body but i really do like this it's only 22 dollars and i think i might have to pick up a slightly like one or two shades up for when i get a little bit of color in the summer not that i get a ton of color like i cannot tan but comes with a big doe foot and i'm just going to start swiping this on i do use this with a sponge i actually haven't tried it with a brush but i don't typically like 
liquid foundations with a brush. That's just my preference. But while I apply this, I guess I should talk about where I've been. So I kind of went MIA again because, see, I got like the worst going on with my sponge I got the worst anxiety spike like mid-January and I couldn't do anything I did my makeup I think a total of maybe five times in the month of January and with this the in Feb I'm filming this on February 13th um so I don't know when this is gonna be posted I've done my makeup only like three times this month I, I am feeling better mentally but it just hit me so hard just out of the blue which isn't technically out of the blue because apparently my anxiety likes to spike in the days leading up to my period so that's been fun so i had to deal with that that lasted like a full two weeks i would say and then i got sick so it's like i had that got my period started to feel better mentally and then i got sick on top of that so that's what I've been dealing with, but I've been trying to work out more. Got a little treadmill that I can walk on and watch TV or read on my Kindle. So that's been what I've been trying to do. I did pull a muscle in my back the other day also. I'm um, feeling better with that though, but uh, that wasn't fun. So this is what the skin is looking like. It does. I. On my skin, it looks a little dry, but once it settles in and I put on a setting spray, it just kind of meshes in, and it looks really great, like, all throughout the day. I think the longest I wore this was, like, 10 hours, and it, uh, lasted pretty well. Now, I did pick up the new NYX Pro Fix Stick Concealer. I have it in 01 Pale. I think I'll give this a try today. I haven't tried it yet. I did put a little bit on the back of my hand, but... I don't know. I feel like I've heard great things about it. I just haven't tried it yet. But for it being like a stick concealer, it feels very creamy. So let's just see how this fares. It's blending out pretty well. I wouldn't say it is anything like high coverage. Oh, it's not horrible. I think my under eyes are a little dry, but it's his life. I'm just going to add a little bit in my usual concealer spots. Add a little bit more under the eye and straight down the nose. I do hope that they come out with an even lighter shade or even like a white because this isn't lighter than my foundation and I typically like to go a little bit lighter under my eyes just for a brightening effect. It's not working very well on my forehead and I know it's the concealer not the foundation because the foundation looked okay so I know what that isn't working but I'm gonna move on I'm just gonna quickly powder with my two powders so I have my Anastasia and my Kiko Milano I'm just gonna do a quick set of the face and then I'll uh, continue on so I did get a setting spray this is from Mo Beauty it's the set it up setting spray so I'm going to give this a try I usually do setting spray like at the end before I do my faux freckles but I'm gonna try this one out now just to help kind of settle everything because it's looking a little dry. Has a slight scent, but nothing overpowering, kind of just typical like setting spray. The mist got everywhere though. So this isn't a super fine mist and uh, it kind of just soaked my top. I think the concealer isn't working for me because it's looking a little rough on the areas that I put this. Not happy with that, but I'm going to push on because hopefully by the end of this, everything will just kind of mesh together. So I have these two brushes from Luna Magic Luxury Brushes. They have just a nice little, I can even use this as blush. It's probably more like a powder brush, but I like the shape for blush. And then I got an angled one. I'm going to use this for the contour, contour bronzer, whatever. So moving on. Ooh, before I do that, I want to try this lip oil because I did get a Give Beauty lipstick that I want to try. But I want to put this lip oil on. This is from Eloise and it is in the shade ruby. It's a beautiful color. Ooh, it has like a, a candy scent. Watermelon. That's what it smells like. Watermelon candy. It gave a little bit of a color, but it doesn't feel that hydrating. That's kind of disappointing. I'll leave it on until I do uh, the other lipstick. I'm going to move on to the Smashbox one and I'm going to start with the contour shade, which is called Beach Day. Uh, this looks a little too warm, so this might just end up being bronzer on me, but I typically really like Smashbox's powder products. I'm just a fan of Smashbox in general. They make one of my favorite tinted moisturizers. Love that. I'm liking the shade. It's a nice little palette so far. And then for these blushes, so you're supposed to use the deeper one to blend 
along your temple for like a extra contour and then the lighter one more towards the apple of your cheek so i'm going to start with the darker shade and i'm just going to use that brush and just start working this back on this end it's a pretty color i am a sucker for blush take it a little bit into the hairline it's actually my hair washing day probably why i might try to get on the peloton but probably not and then i'm going to go into the lighter shade just same brush tap off the excess and just i don't like to smile and do my blush because a tip especially as you get older your face starts to sag if you smile and do the blush right at the apple of the cheek it's gonna fall so i just keep my face normal and put the blush where i want it another tip for blush if you ever go too hard like i went a little too much on the side you can take your sponge and just dab over that and then it will work out a little blush on the nose because i can't not maybe that will help cover up whatever is happening on my nose and then the last thing in here is the highlighter i'm gonna go in let's just a wet and wild brush probably not the best brush for this but it is a highlighting brush i just don't like it Ooh, that is very gold a little dark on me not gonna lie a little dark but it's pretty so i guess i should also mention that i am going back to my former job part of my anxiety kicking up so much over the last few months it's actually been pretty bad since i got covid in september but you know everything's connected in some way i haven't been getting out of the apartment a lot but i did recently as in two weeks ago got my car back finally after not having it for a year and a half i finally got that back so i've had freedom to drive so i'm able to get out of the house more and i'm going to be working a couple days a week just to get some extra money um fortunately me and my husband are struggling a little bit on the money side because of just unexpected expenses and um we're trying to get better we still plan on trying to find a house this year but the market in the suburb of chicago is not not doing so well I'm gonna finish up my brows just with the same styler and then do my faux freckles and then i'll be back to do the eye makeup because that is the most exciting part. So I'll be honest, my face makeup isn't looking the best up close. Far away, it's decent. Up close, no. So I have, I grabbed two of the three palettes. I have the Ace Beauté one and the Dominique Cosmetics one. I'm leaning more towards this one because it's a little bit lighter, a little bit softer. And um, like I said, it's been a while since I've done my makeup and I'm not ready to jump into like really intense looks. I'm just not. It feels so weird not doing anything super intense, but it is my life right now. And um, yeah, but this Ace Beauté one is absolutely stunning. Since tomorrow is Valentine's Day, I might try to use this just because this screams romance. But alas, uh, that is to be determined at another day. But this Dominique Cosmetics one, I adore Dominique Cosmetics. They are one of my favorite brands that an influencer has done. Love pretty much everything that she's come out with. My one complaint that I've had with her brand though is her concealers that she came out with, she needs lighter shades. But this palette is gorgeous so I'm gonna use this and I'm going to start by priming my eyes with my Anastasia eye primer. I start with Compassion and I'm gonna put that all in my crease. I just have a Glam Light and Michaela brush. These brushes, they were great when I first got them, but after a couple washes, um, they started falling apart. Could be, you know, an error on my part, but I'm not happy with that. I've never had a problem with this brand's formula and eyeshadow. They are just so easy to use. One thing that Kristen Dominique talks about when she makes these palettes, she makes like the pan sizes like larger because she says that she wants her stuff to be like multi-use where like some of the shades in here like depending on your complexion you can use as like a blush or a bronzer or a contour and or like the shimmer she can use as highlights i think that that's just really neat of her to do like honestly just so effortless i'm obsessed i go in with a smaller brush and i'm gonna pick up the shade positivity this is not going to be super light on my skin tone because i am basically a sheet of paper white but i'm going to use this to kind of clean up my brow bone just a little bit 
because it pulls a little bit too yellow, a little bit too, not the shade for me. But for what I need it for, it works. If you're any bit, any bit not as white as me, this will work as a decent, like, bone shade, highlight shade, whatever. This will also just make a great, like, transition shade. I'm going to take a little bit of that right in the center of the lid, just to brighten that up a little bit. I'm going to go in with Mi Amo. If I'm pronouncing anything that's supposed to be Spanish wrong, my apologies. I'm just going to go in with a little bit of a smaller, denser brush. Pick that up, and I'm going to put this on, like, the outer edge. Just a kiss, because it has a little bit of pink. I think that will play very well with the sweater that I'm wearing. Not taking this too far into the crease, so I'm just stamping it and then very softly blending that. That is beautiful. I'm gonna take that same shade, same brush, I'm gonna sweep this on my lower lash line. Happy with that. I'm gonna go into I think, a little bit of True Self here, a little bit of a deeper brown, and I'm just gonna use a little bit of a smaller blending brush and see if this deepens the outer edge just a smidge just to bring back some of that brown. I'm gonna do a shimmer on the lid, so I'm just going to not bring that too far over. I am gonna avoid the black in this palette today because I do not want to go too hard. I want a very soft eye. Everything is just blending together beautifully. I'm gonna take a little bit of that brown shade also on the lower other third of my eye. So the top here is all shimmers. I'm really interested in this one. This one I'm probably gonna put on my inner corner and inner part of my lid, but I think I'm gonna use this one. They're both very pretty. So that is Grateful is the deeper one. And then Pretty Kind is the lighter one. Yeah, so I'm just going to go in with Grateful on my finger. No additional product. And I'm just going to pat that in. For shimmers, you could obviously use a brush, wet the brush, or put down a glitter glue to make these pop more. But if you want a subtle sparkle, just go in without any extra primer down. Okay, and then going in with Pretty Kind blend those together. I like that. I'm just going to take a random brush and pick up Pretty Kind and then put that on my inner corner. It does leave a little bit of a cast because it's not a super light shimmer on me, but I like it. I'm going to pop a little bit under my brow also. Okay, I feel very cute with this. Now, I did get in liner from Give Beauty. This is a blue shade though. It's a gorgeous blue. I just don't think blue would work, but maybe. I'm gonna try this in my lower waterline. Ooh, that is so pretty. I love blues and browns together. Such a pretty contrast. A little different. Not bad. It's a very creamy liner. There's no tugging on it. I like that. So, I have two more things to try and then I am done with my makeup. So I'm gonna curl my lashes before I try this mascara. I was lucky enough to get two mascaras and I'm gonna try the Rare Beauty one today because I am a sucker for Rare Beauty and I have been wanting to try more of their products. So this is the Rare Beauty mascara. This is what the one looks like. Hopefully it's not too wet of a formula. This is the Perfect Strokes Mascara Volume Universal. One coat with, without, I, I like that so far. It doesn't feel like it's too, too wet, but this is a travel size. And I have found that there is a discrepancy between travel sizes and full size mascaras for any brand. And sometimes I really prefer the mini size better. Plus you're supposed to change out your mascaras like every, I think six months. Once it's open, I think after it's open, you have six months to use it for a full size and I think three months for a small one. But if you have a small travel size mascara, um, you're gonna use that pretty quickly and you won't have to worry about any size. Okay, so there is one coat. I'm gonna do another coat just to see if I can build this up anymore. It is making my lashes more voluminous and I find that it is lengthening them some. I have kind of short, ugly lashes, so I'm liking this. All right, and the real test is gonna be on my bottom lashes. Typically, if I like a mascara on my top lashes, it doesn't work well for my bottom lashes. But if I like one on my bottom lashes, it doesn't work well for my top lashes. I haven't found like the one that works for both. I've come close, but usually I just use whatever makes me feel good that day. I like it. Oh, I like it. It made my bottom lashes like longer and just 
how I like them to look. And I am very impressed with that. That's what I got going on for the eyes. And the last thing to try is this lipstick, which I don't even know if this color is going to work for me. This is Tragic Me by Give Beauty. I either have a code with Give Beauty or an affiliate link. It's all listed down below if you shop their website. But this is the shade. Mine did come a little busted in the cap, but it's whatever. It's a beautiful color. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. I have a little bit of the lip oil left. I will say for this lip oil, it's not horrible. It's not the best lip oil I've used. I do have one from LAJ Beauty that I use quite often. This is amazing. This one just wasn't as hydrating. And like if I'm going to use the lip oil, I want the hydration. But I did like the little bit of color this gave. So let's try out this lipstick. My lips are super dry, so uh, lipstick doesn't look that great on them. It's a pretty color. I don't think it goes very well with this look. It's comfortable. It's cute. I just don't think that it goes well with this look, but it is what it is. I'm going to deal with it. So let me do something with my hair, wash off my hand, and then I'll be back to wrap up my final thoughts on everything that I tried. Alright, so that wraps up my look. So let's get into my thoughts on everything that I tried. I'll start with the stuff that wasn't in BoxyCharm. Love this foundation. I do. Concealer? No. Just no. This next one? No. I will give it another try with a different foundation, but as of right now, these two together is a hard no for me. This little Smashbox face palette? I love this. I'm excited to try the other ones. I think that was everything else that was like new to me. So I'm gonna start with this lip oil. You heard what I said. Not that hydrating. I like the color. It's so-so. The setting spray is not bad. Uh, I will probably use this up fairly quickly because I tend to use a lot of setting spray, but my face feels a little bit refreshed. It did help a little bit on the dry patches that I had going, but the spray on this is just a little too intense. The Dominique Cosmetics palette is absolutely beautiful. If you're someone who is just like, an everyday eyeshadow type of person. This is gorgeous. Buy this. Don't buy Kim K. The blue liner from Give Beauty. This is actually really pretty. I have a feeling that this isn't going to be as long lasting in my waterline as some other ones only because it is so creamy but I think that this is beautiful and I kind of want to try and do like a wing with it. I think it'll work really well like using this as a smoked out wing and then setting it with a little bit of powder. I think that'll work very well. The Rare Beauty Mascara, so far, fantastic. As long as this does not flake or smudge on me, this may be my new favorite mascara. I'll finish this off with the lipstick. It's pretty, it's comfortable. I wouldn't necessarily choose this shade for myself. It leans a little too, like, terracotta on me, but it is gorgeous. And again, this was the shade Tragic Me. So overall, for the whole Ipsy bag, BoxyCharm box, Icon box, I will say that this is one of my favorite months in the last, like, few months. I've been not necessarily disappointed in the products, but I just haven't been enthralled with them. And I feel like when it's the month with the icon boxes, they go hard with that and I love it. But as I've stated many times before, these boxes are sent to me for free. All I have to do is post about them. They do not pay me to make content, unfortunately. They just send me stuff and uh, it is what it is. But if you are interested in signing up for Ipsy or BoxyCharm, I'll have all that information down below. It is a referral link, so if you sign up with my link, I do get some sort of credit. I don't know what the credit is because I don't think anybody signed up with my link, but it is what it is. But yeah, I think that wraps up everything. Once again, I want to apologize for my absence, but life is life. I can't promise when my next video is gonna be, but I did buy the Twilight Collection from ColourPop when it launched, and then like my anxiety hit and I haven't touched it since. So if you want a video on this, I will be happy to do that, which I might just do anyways. But I'm super excited for that collection. I am a Twilight fan. So let me go ahead and wrap this up. If you want, you can follow me on my other socials. I'm Artistry X Ash everywhere. And if you like book content, I am Devouring Bookishly on TikTok and Instagram. But if you want to follow me on like my like day to day like what's happening in my life I typically post on my Instagram stories almost every day so that would be the best place to you know keep up with me when I go like MIA but yeah I think that wraps up everything thank you so much for watching please subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you all in my next video which will hopefully be in a couple of days but I'm not sure when this is going up I hope you had a great Super Bowl weekend I'm kind of bummed that the Chiefs won I was really voting for a party to uh win i don't like the 49ers though because they always screw over the packers but i like brock purdy when i'm filming this it's mardi gras blase le bon temps roulé is that how you say it blase le bon temps roulé 
I'm not good at French. But the good times roll. And uh, tomorrow is Valentine's Day and Ash Wednesday. I'm not Catholic, but uh, I didn't realize that it was so soon. I'm rambling at this point. Once again, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.